Hey everybody, last Thursday was the day Peacemaker ended, and I haven't seen that many videos about all of his helmets and what they all do, so I'm just making one now, because why not? Okay, here is why James Gunn is better than Albert Einstein. He took something small about Peacemaker, like his helmets, and expanded on it so much that it became something that was my favorite thing about the whole show. Peacemaker has 11 helmets in the show. I'm pretty sure there is more, like... I'm not counting the ones that weren't finished in the workshop, but yeah, you get it. Basically, I'm just talking about the ones with actual names. Now, this video is gonna have a scale. No, not that scale, this scale. It's gonna be ranking how dangerous the helmets are. Obviously why it's called the danger scale. Now, the scale will be from one Danny DeVito to five Danny DeVitos, because that's the system everyone uses to rank things on how dangerous they are. Five obviously being the most dangerous, and one being the least dangerous. Okay, so the first helmet we actually see him in is the Sonic Boom one in the first episode. The first helmet we actually, like, see him wear, like, ever in the DCEU, is the normal one from the Suicide Squad. The helmet we see him wear in the Suicide Squad is the standard helmet, and is the most similar looking to the one in the comics. There's nothing special about this helmet from the Suicide Squad, except that it's bull bulletproof, and that it withstanded the building falling on. I guess Peacemaker and his helmets have that in common. Now, the summit might look similar to the one in the comics, but it doesn't have the same abilities. The one in the comics has Sonic Boom capabilities, but it isn't like the Sonic Boom helmet in the show. It's like a lighter version of it, and only kind of deflects the enemies away, like this. This helmet gets one Danny DeVito on the danger scale. Activate Sonic Boom! This helmet is one of my favorite ones in the whole show, and it's the helmet he uses in the first episode and sometime in the second and in the last episode. This one's also my favorite because of the design, how the blue stripes just match with the helmet and make it not look like a toilet bowl, and because of sound it makes. Here, let me do some sound effects work for you guys. Activate Sonic Boom! Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed the, that voice acting, because I'm gonna look back at this video and just cringe. But back to the main topic. All of Peacemaker's helmets are voice sensitive. For example, in the last episode when Adebayo was talking to Peacemaker about the helmets, she accidentally says, activate zero gravity in the middle of a sentence, and the helmet just straight up floats away. So by that logic, if you had the Sonic Boom helmet on and you're talking to your friends and you accidentally dropped the word, activate Sonic Boom in the sentence, Somehow, your friends are going to end up like Rick Flag after he got crashed by the building at the end of the Suicide Squad. Bruh. You would have no friends anymore. Kind of like my current social life. It's also the last helmet Peacemaker wears in the finale. Pretty sure the scene takes place after everything that happened with the cow. So I'm counting it as the last time we see the helmet. But overall, this helmet alone, with a walkie-talkie inside of it, could end thousands of lives. <laughs> This helmet gets five Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. I'll ask the question. Fine by me. You're definitely gonna be chill. Fucking chill, dude. Jesus, relax. I'm freaking out. Activate x ray vision. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? <laughs> what the fuck? X ray vision. You can see in their brains. Okay, so for people who don't know the context of that clip, I apologize. I'll explain it right now. The whole show is about taking down the butterflies. They basically are an alien race that came to Earth and implant their so themselves into the skulls of humans and take over their bodies. So he's seeing the butterflies in their brain and knows that they're the bad guys, so he just takes them out. He's not killing random people. So to sum this helmet up, it gives the wearer x-ray vision. That's it. But the design is cool, though. If you put a bar of silver metal in the middle of this thing, it would just look like the Sonic Boom helmet, but it isn't because there's a big gap, which is what makes it different. It, like, puts on sunglasses over the wearer's eyes where the eye holes would be in the helmet. This is the helmet Peacemaker wears in episode 5 to look for all the butterflies. This is also the one that Adebayo wears at the end of the episode. And basically, the activation word is obviously activate x-ray vision. It's basically with all his helmets, it's just whatever the name is. So, like, x-ray vision. And just gotta say activate in the front of it. Then it'll turn on. To do whatever it needs to do. It gives the wearer a black and white vision of an x-ray when, when activated. Wearer would be able to see the skeleton and have a general outline and certain figures. 
This helmet is the second most used in the show, because the Sonic Boom one is the most used in the beginning and the end, but this one is the most relevant in episode 5. The only real downside is that it blocks any visuals like color and all those things, but I mean it's x-ray vision, what did you expect? So the only real danger, it's only really dangerous to the wearer, being not able to see any facial features or colors. But I mean that's it, I don't mean to sound like I'm selling you something. So this helmet gets 1.5 Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. You can put on activate anti-gravity and just float it over there. Uh, guys? I'm a tiny hand fan, but you know, once in the jungles of Cambodia, I used two oversized palm fronds. Guys! Friends. Fuck! Deactivate anti-gravity! Deactivate anti-gravity! Did you say activate anti-gravity? No. This one makes you float. I mean, obviously, by the clip, that should make sense. And it's uncertain if you could stop floating whenever you want, maybe by saying deactivate anti-gravity or something like that. Also, does the wearer have to say something like float neutrally, then they stay still in the air? I, I don't know how this works. This is getting out of hand. And sadly, it doesn't make a sound, so I can't do my great job of mimicking sound effects. I know, real bummer. Peacemaker says he needs to carry a little hand fan around to move. Then he says he used two leaves in Cambodia one time, so it's unclear if you really need the fan. But who knows? If he could use two leaves, he could probably just use his arms, like, swimming in the air. This helmet was never actually worn, it was only activated in the last episode in the scene you just watched. And it was part of Adebayo's old plan in the finale, where she explained that that Peacemaker would wear the anti-gravity helmet while holding the Sonic Boom helmet with a walkie in it, so they can Sonic Boom the barn. By the way, in the clip that I showed you in the beginning, Vigilani could have stopped the helmet from floating away. He just stood there, but he, no, he just decides to just scream, hey guys, it's floating, and not do anything. Vigilani is a genius. Now, you might be thinking, this one isn't dangerous, but just imagine this. Standing there, right? Trying to protect something, or just standing there, and then a dude floating down by his helmet comes and stabs you and uses the momentum of falling down to stab you. That wouldn't feel so good, would it? That's pretty dangerous, but I mean, it isn't as dangerous as the Sonic Boom one. So what if someone yells, deactivate anti-gravity while you're floating up and you're pretty high, and then you end up falling, breaking your legs? That, that doesn't seem safe. This helmet gets 2.5. 5 Danny DeVito's on the danger scale. Activate human torpedo! Adebayo, no! <laughs> oh, Jesus, I told her not to use that one. This one turns you into a human torpedo. Its sound effects goes like Okay, I gotta stop making sound effects, that's really embarrassing. But, it's funny, so I'll keep it in. Like the Sonic Boom Helmet, it makes a force field around the user before actually going in to use its power. Which is power is to launch whoever is wearing it into the air at high speeds like a torpedo. Obviously, if you didn't get that from the name. It also seems like the wearer doesn't even need to say the helmet command to actually get the ability to work. Okay, by the way, before this, I start talking, jump to this timestamp to avoid the spoiler I'm going to talk about. Okay, if you didn't jump to the timestamp yet, then you watch the show or don't care about spoilers. Okay, so when Peacemaker says his cool line, activate human torpedo, when Boff is like, what do you say? And then he's activate human torpedo, and then it shoots Adebayo into the cow, which was indeed a badass move, but it makes you think. Theoretically, if the enemy knows the command phrase will Peacemaker wear this helmet, he would be screwed because if, if the enemy knew the command phrase and said it, he'd be screwed. He'd be launched into the air end endlessly until he hit something. And by the time that happens, the enemy probably would have gone away. Should probably fix that later on. It also seems to make you tired, but I mean, that makes sense. You're going at high speeds a torpedo was supposed to be going at, not a human. And it's going only by your head and where you're pointing it, so that doesn't help. So again, it makes a big strain on your movement and stamina. If Peacemaker ever ever fully makes it into a non-prototype stage, you should add a camera on the top of it and maybe say like, activate head camera and then it'll make like the glasses that come down on the x-ray vision helmet. And then you can see where your head is pointing to actually like fire the human torpedo and then where you will shoot yourself basically. And that thing is super dangerous, almost on the level of the Sonic Boom helmet. I mean, if you get hit with that thing at high speeds, you're gonna end up like Rick Flag at the end of the Suicide Squad. Bruh. Oh, crap, sorry, I already used that joke, but I mean, it makes sense. This helmet gets five Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. Hey, Peacemaker. What do these do? This is Underwater World. It allows you to breathe underwater. Okay, not sure how we can use that. 
This helmet makes you become Aquaman without the super fast swimming or talking to fishes. This helmet just makes makes you be able to breathe underwater. There's nothing really much about it. I don't know how that would be possible for you to breathe underwater with just this thing. Maybe it like expands a little force field around the wearer's nose and mouth so they don't, you know, suffocate. But I don't know how they would get that much air in that little force field pocket. Maybe the force field comes with an oxygen add-on? These helmets make no sense. I have no clue. This. The design is pretty cool, though. I don't its ability is pretty basic, though, so there's nothing much to say. And there's no way that this is really dangerous unless it doesn't give you a full force field and you go into the ocean and there's, like, a shark and you can't do anything about it. But other than that, this helmet gets two Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. This one's scabies for all. Upon activation, it gives everybody one mile radius scabies, except, of course, the wearer of the helmet. In my opinion, this helmet is the most weird out of the whole show, and this show in itself is really weird. So this helmet, by Peacemaker's logic, gives everyone in the one mile radius of the helmet scabies. Now if you don't know what scabies is, here's the Google definition. Scabies is an infestation of the skin by the human inch mite. Okay, I'm just gonna- that's too long, I'm not explaining that. It basically is lice for your skin, and they lay eggs in your skin. It's disgusting. I don't know how you would make that into a helmet that re- that, like, sends scabies out of it, maybe? I don't know. It's so confusing. Would you need a force field for that? How would the wearer not get scabies? Why- why did his dad make this? What the f- Also, why does this one look the most ugly? Why does it have a mohawk? Why is the Dove of Peace so big on the side? Why did his dad make this? Also, when in the post credit scene, where we first see the helmet for the first time, his dad says it gives him scabies. And then when we get to episode 8, Peacemaker says it gives everyone in the one mile radius scabies. What's the real definition of this helmet? I'm just gonna go by Peacemaker's definition, because that's the one that makes the most sense. This one will give you scabies. Give me scabies? Why would I want scabies? Challenge yourself. Every man should have scabies once in his life. Okay. Why would you need a helmet that gives scabies? Okay, I'm just- I'm ranting for too long. This helmet gets three Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. This one has x-ray vision. Yeah, this one hasn't really shown up or been talked about. Actually, it's never been talked about. You can only read it off the nameplate, and it doesn't even have a description. It's called Bounded for Good. Now, my guess on why it's called Bounded for Good is that it likely binds to your skull and makes it so you're bounded to it for good, and you can never take it off. That's just my guess. Also, I read it somewhere, so partially not my idea, but that, that was my first guess. That was my first guess. I don't know why his dad made this helmet. Probably was just bored. Only a stupid person would wear this helmet. This is the type of helmet a Valorant player would wear. Or someone who plays GTA roleplay for fun. Bruh. There probably isn't even a voice command to take it off, like unactivate bounded for good. Because that wouldn't make sense, because it should be bounded for good. Why does this helmet exist? There's zero purpose for it. I don't know. This would be a nightmare. Especially if someone else put it on you and then said the voice command. Oh, that would... Oh, that's actually a good idea. They should do that in s season two. Like, put the Bounded for Good helmet on somebody and then say it. Oh, that'd be a nightmare. Especially if it wasn't bulletproof. Oh, that's, that, would, that would be bad. And it's only dangerous to the user because you can never take it off. So that, this helmet gets three Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. This one has full body force field. This one is another one that just has a name and has never been used before. I mean, technically, it actually has been used three times, but wasn't the actual main feature of the helmet. By that, I mean, this only gives the user a force field around their body for a certain amount of time. At least I'm guessing. Like how the Sonic Boom one only gives a force field for how long the blast lasts, so they don't get hurt by the booms. And the human torpedo one gives you a force field until you hit something to protect your head and your bones. I'm guessing this one just gives you a full body force field for like a minute and has a cooldown. Then you just say it again until you wanna actually like 
use the force field again. So this helmet has the most relation to the others, but has never actually been used. Not a danger to anyone unless the user has a weapon, then you just can't do anything about it to stop them because they're literally invincible if there's a force field. This helmet gets two Danny DeVitos on the danger scale. Skedions! Did you know Becky Coolidge? Becky Coolidge. That's my mom. She used to bartend in the Starlight Lounge. Becky Coolidge, yeah, that's right. I haven't seen her in like 10 years. I think you might be my real dad. What? I like how that little kid saying you might be my real dad is literally never brought up again in the show. We just kind of looked over. <laughs> Oh yeah, as you can see, this helmet is the one that's used in the school scene and used in the woods when Peacemaker has to attach it to a raccoon. By the way, these helmets are so dangerous, good thing he's wearing the new standard helmet to the school because if he was wearing the Sonic Boom one and then he told the kids that you'd have to say activate and then the name of the helmet to activate the ability and then one kid thought it was funny to yell out activate Sonic Boom and then just that wouldn't end up too good. It would end up like Rick Flag at the end of the Suicide Squad. Bruh. But yeah, the helmet's the exact same from the one that I talked from the beginning of the Suicide Squad. It's the same one basically from that movie. Nothing really special about it. Aside from the design is bigger, kind of. Uh, for no reason. Like, you could have just remade the old helmet, but I guess this design is okay. Anyway, nothing really special about it, so... This helmet gets one Danny DeVito on the danger scale. I could only find this blurry image, so... I found it on the, the Peacemaker helmet wiki, because I didn't know this one even existed. I didn't even notice it. So my guess for this helmet is that it makes everyone's brain itch in the radius of the helmet, but that's based off of the information that we got from the earlier helmets and everything else. But I mean, I can barely tell the design. It kind of looks like the Sonic Boom one, so maybe the prop team just put a replica of the Sonic Boom one and just wrote itchy brain on a thing and then put it down and just like okay that's it maybe this one wasn't even supposed to be noticed but i don't know i'm get i mean it's pretty cool it doesn't seem that dangerous and i guess it just makes people's brain itch again that's it that's all i know it only seems dangerous to people around it and it doesn't really seem that big of an inconvenience so this only gets two dang devitos on the danger scale uh yeah that's it for the video really like this video in particular i think it was fun to make thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you don't want scabies see ya Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you guys some knowledge. We live in a society where people find Valorant fun. Why is no one crying? That is very sad.